Ozu didn't get to color films until the very end of his career. When he did, not much seemed to be different. His movies began much the same way. They still had the low angle tatami shots, and the characters spoke nearly directly into the camera. The enigmatic pillow shots that served as cutaways were still there too. And the stories too were the same. The stories were about a young woman of marriageable age and the family members and family friends who tried to get her married. Underneath, however, a good number of things had changed. Ozu's earlier films had posited a dramatic contrast between modern and traditional norms. Ozu made these contrasts stark by using black and white to accentuate the differences between the more traditional and the more modern characters. These films were very much about the modern industrializing Japan in conflict with the old. Ozu had many different ways of showing these contrasts. Equinox Flower, his first color film, is quite similar in many ways. We see traditional parents who dress traditionally at home argue with a daughter with a short bobbed haircut who happens to have very modern ideas about whom she should marry. This focus shifts in his later films. Although the stories and the main themes remain the same, other things subtly change. These films are less obviously about modern and traditional contrasts. These women are no longer just modern or different. They don't just represent challenges to traditional approaches to life. Instead, we regularly see them dressed quite similarly, if not identically, to much older characters. These final movies are about the things that make us the same, despite our apparent differences. Ozu develops the idea that the different generations are, in fact, united by their shared struggles in life. One way Ozu illustrates this idea is to show characters of different generations dressed in very similar colors. In a similar vein, we see the colors of this woman's clothes reflected, a few minutes later in the movie, in her traditional wedding dress. Everything becomes, in fact, a kind of a multicolored union. By treating English language signage in the modern spaces the same exact way he treats Japanese characters in the traditional spaces, Ozu develops a kind of an equivalence between the modern and the traditional. These films articulated a rare unifying vision of the traditional and the modern in a world that was being transformed by economic, social, and cultural forces. Some have called Ozu a cultural conservative for espousing such a vision. I think Ozu's articulation of such a vision makes these final Ozu films one of the most unique achievements in cinema. <laughs>